Hey guys, what's up? So today I want to talk to you guys about eloping. So if you guys have an autistic child, you might be familiar with this term. So elopement pretty much means just running away from your caregiver, running away from the parent, the person that's watching you, running the opposite direction from them, just escaping. So ever since Christian was three years old, I remember he loved the sensation of running. It's like a stim for him. It feels good for him. So he would run back and forth in the house. But with that, he would also run away. We had constant problems with eloping with Christian um, when he was younger. So that's definitely something that took a long time for us to work on and we're still working on it but he definitely does not elope as often as he used to every now and then he'll be like let me test it out uh let me run so i'm gonna talk to you guys about what worked with christian what has helped him with eloping and what has worked with other kiddos that i've worked with i also want to show you guys how christian walks with me now how he understands a lot of the things that we talk to him about so i'm excited to do this video because i know a lot of parents have been requesting this so hopefully this helps you guys out let me know if you guys have a runner and what you guys have tried some of the things that have been really helpful is teaching the basics so for Christian it does take a long time for him to understand a lot of the instructions that we're giving him so repetition for him is key and just practice 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 we always practice stop walk with me and wait so those things in the beginning it seems like he's not understanding but he definitely does at this point it just took a long time so as you're walking make sure it's like at home in the backyard at the park somewhere safe you could always just walk next to your child and practice these terms so with stop the best thing that you can do is practice practice with the hand gesture walking with your child and putting your hand out and saying stop and in the beginning you'll have to prompt so the hand will literally hold your child there and then just say i like how you stop you know and like keep practicing keep practicing and at one point you will feel that there is no resistance and your child is stopping so you praise that oh awesome job stopping and once you're there you can just verbalize it stop and see if they stop you can make it fun make it a game like oh you stop ready stop you know like a lot of times kiddos will jump in and just be like themselves say stop and they stop it's like a game make it fun make it rewarding um that is a big thing to learn because if they do end up eloping you want to make sure that you have a way for them to understand stop uh definitely work on that one same thing applies for walk with me because you might not have an eloper anymore but then you might have a kiddo that's walking way too fast so you want to work on walk with me and that means walking nicely next to me so you can reward that every so often oh i love how you're walking next to me good job staying with me just interchange these phrases so that they know and are familiar with these phrases stop stop oh you didn't stop all the way I do recommend practicing this very often throughout your day or at least once a week something like that so that they don't forget when you say stop what it means walk with me things like that um, I usually he's so good at it that it's very natural for us so I don't necessarily say stop um, because he's not running away as often but it is good to practice because he was kind of forgetting it a little bit but just with a couple times of us doing it right now he is doing really well um, it does help to have a reinforcer that is really reinforcing when you're first starting to learn it like a candy or you know you're gonna work for ipad or a toy car or something like that so with eloping um, if your child is a runner you want to make sure that you're meeting their sensory needs kind of like let's work on the prevention before it happens type of thing so if they are seeking a sensory input make sure that you are giving it to them make sure that if you know that every hour he gets fidgety or restless make sure that you're scheduling in a break like hey do you want to run let's go ahead and run in this area like it's secluded it's safe or if running is not an option make sure that you give them a different kind of input for their sensory needs maybe dancing maybe jumping something that is active another thing that might happen is they might be running for attention so if you are the type of parent which i am too at times that they run away and you give them all the attention like no stop come back don't run don't do this and you know you can kind of tell if it's attention because they will look for you they'll look at you if they're about to run like oh, i'm about to run i'm about to run uh, make sure that you don't give it attention and you could probably be like i like how you're waiting for me nicely or or even like just hold on to them really quickly and say oh we need to wait together something around around the lines where you're not giving attention to the don't you dare run don't you dare do it because you're giving that attention make sure that you're giving attention to like a good behavior and letting them know what you expect prepping them for your expectation definitely is key so if you guys are about to go for a walk going to a store you could always talk to your kiddo and even if they are nonverbal, our kiddos understand i feel like 
it took me a while to understand how much he understands so i want to let you guys know your kiddos understand a lot so prep them say hey christian today we are gonna go into target and i need you to walk with me we're gonna walk together and we are going to walk calmly you know something across those lines or we walk together or stay with me at all times um something that you feel like they would understand or that feels natural to you so another thing that can cause elopement is um, for example if your kiddo is nonverbal and they see something that they love in the opposite direction if they're trying to get your attention but don't know how they could simply run run off there like a reaction run away from you to get to that thing uh, make sure that you are providing them with a lot of communication options so it could be pecs it could be like point to what you want um, if you make sure you keep an eye on them at all times and see if they are looking at certain things maybe you can be like oh do you want to go that way you know just give them that communication option because a lot of times they don't know how to talk to us and we just need to make sure that we are proactive and have a bunch of ways to communicate so I hope that these examples and this video sit down is very helpful for you guys. Let me know what else you guys are struggling with elopement if you've tried any of these or if you guys have any other questions for me, I'm here to help you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.